As we begin the new year, many of us want to clean up and organize our home. Well, why not kick off 2010 with a bang by adding to your home with something unique that can minimize the clutter? Joining me this morning with a suggestion, Lee Spangenberg of Secret Doorways. Lee, it's nice to have you here. Nice to be Did here. Did I say that right, Lee Spangenberg? Spangenberg. Yeah. Spangenberg. And you are the owner of a company, Secret Doorways. Correct. This is the most unique <laughs> thing, and I love the concept. Explain it. Well, basically, it's uh, for, for most people, it's space. It's, it's um, what they are. Space. It's needing space, utilizing space. Um, they're moving bookcase doors is what they are. And we design them, we build them, uh, we install them. Um, it, uh, it's, for most people, um, like I said, space is the value. Occasionally I'll do a, a gun closet or something like that. But uh, more times than not, it's kids' rooms. Um, so those are doors to a closet, mm -hmm. but on the outside they're bookcases. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. Where did you get the idea from watching old movies of, you know, secret doors or what? Too, too much TV, too much Scooby-Doo, what can I say? The, uh, actually, I saw the concept, and my oldest son was two at the time. And in his small nursery, by the time we had the changing table, uh, a dresser, a crib, you've got an a exterior window, a door coming into the room. It's like, where do you put stuff? And, you know, it seemed like he already had more stuff than I had at, at age two. So... It just seemed like a good solution. We've got that closet. Why not use the space in front of the closet? What a novel idea. A case. And at that time, it was toys and that kind of thing. Now it's starting to be soccer trophies and baseball trophies. Well, you talk about all those heavy things. Is it hard to open up the door then if you put heavy things like that on the bookcases? Well, that's a good question. They're, they're designed to hold books. And there's, there's three things that we do to make sure that happens. One, uh, we don't use any... Um, I say garbage materials. It's all quality uh, materials that Heavy go duty into things, it. Heavy-duty things, yeah. Heavy-duty, absolutely. Um, all of our designs sit on the floor and they pivot as opposed to hanging off the walls. So you can load it up and you don't have to worry so much, and I don't have to worry so much about them, you know, racking and, and uh, tipping. Um, so uh, yeah. That makes sense. So they're safe. You don't have to worry about that. Easy to open for even a child then. Absolutely, absolutely. So what are some good places, or where have you put these besides closets where people find a big benefit? Well, kids' rooms are by far, the, that's my, my bread and butter is the, the kids' rooms, just because it's a smaller space and uh, there's no shortage of stuff, <laughs> as I can tell. <laughs> um, home offices are fantastic, especially if it's a converted bedroom. Um, now you can cover that closet, make it look more like an office, but you keep the, uh, you know, the closet behind there for, uh, you know, resale and, of course, the shovel stuff when company comes. You can really fit a lot on those shelves by looking at the pictures. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and so how long is installation or planning then for something like this, Lee? Well, what, what somebody would want to do is have me come out, and, and I'll tell you if it'll work or not, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll build the entire thing to, to fit the closet. Um, and then it's so it's all done before you come out. Typically, installation only takes maybe three hours tops oh, wow. start to finish. So it's all done. Colors and all those sorts of things. All different colors, all different sorts of woods. Um, uh, some of them, and I'd love to be able to. Uh, just mass produce these but everyone seems to be a little bit different but that being said if somebody wants some arches on them or glass shelves or anything well that's what makes them doors, special oh absolutely each one is a is a custom built piece of furniture when you talk about the bottom is where it all lays can you do this over carpet or does it have to be hardwood floors in order to get these doors to move right no they all sit on some sort of a base they'll either pivot on that base or they'll pivot or and like roll. a track or something right sometimes because there's there's ten I, I started out with one design and now I have ten different designs um, so each one's a little bit different, but it doesn't matter if it's carpet or hardwood or concrete or tile, whatever. Um, you know, like I said, the, uh, uh, the home offices are great. Another great spot is pantries, kitchen pantries. Yes. We'll put these in front of the pantries. Now you can load it up with cookbooks, or if you want, we'll customize it and put um, cabinet doors on the face so you can have storage. So you can storage lots of storage. possibilities. Basements, too, are <laughs> awesome. You to go from a, a finished area to a utility room. Well, Lee, we have your phone number up there, so if folks want to get a hold of you, and I know as people start that spring, clean, spring cleaning, winter cleaning, and the decorations are done, they're going to look to you. Thanks, Lee. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Well, since we are kicking...